In this neutralization reaction, we have sodium hydroxide, NaOH, plus acetic acid, Hc2H3O2. That C2H3O2, that's the acetate ion, and that H in front, the hydrogen, that tells us that it's an acid. So I've written all of the atoms that we have in this equation. Let's count up each atom on each side. We have the one sodium atom, oxygens we have one, plus we have these two oxygens here we need to count. So we have three oxygen atoms, hydrogens one, plus we have this hydrogen right here, plus we have these three. So we have a total of five hydrogen atoms. And then carbons, we have the two. Over on the product side, we have one sodium. Let's do it in order. So we have oxygen, we have two plus the one, three oxygens, hydrogens, three plus the two in the water, five hydrogens. And then the carbons, we have two right here. We have a lot of odd numbers in this equation that makes it sometimes difficult to balance except that the odd numbers are the same on both sides of the equation. So it's already balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium hydroxide plus acetic acid yields sodium acetate plus H2O water. Thanks for watching.